Pack. This is our new MVS31 XP with thermal printer. And uh, what this is, is a vacuum machine, and it's actually in its class, probably the number one vacuum machine sold in the United States. What vacuum machines do is you basically take a bag with an opening, place your product inside, over the seal bar, close your lid, the machine starts automatically. When it reaches a level of vacuum, which we pre programmed it for, it will then seal the bag and release and let the air back inside the chamber. This is ideal for doing things like sous vide, for doing storage. I take my product out. What's unique about this machine is the label with, a, with the date code on it, the person who did it, the product name and the ingredients. That goes right on the package like so and it goes into your refrigerated case for storage. The XP is uh, new for uh, introduced in the middle of 2011. Uh, the 45 without the XP version has actually been around for, we've been selling it for about eight years. Your seal bar length on this is 12 and a half inches, that is 18 inches. So here I can do two 8 inch bags in one cycle versus uh, one 8 inch bag in one cycle. There are numerous types of bags. There's actually uh, a standard 3 mil bag, which is like so. Uh, which is commonly used that can withstand temperatures of 212 yeah, degrees. Like this is a boilable bag. There's also this bag, which is actually called a shrink bag. This bag shrinks at 180 degrees, so like a, you see cheese in the supermarket, that's block of cheese all shrunk around, that's what this bag does. So it holds all the ingredients together. Then there's this type of bag which is actually used for uh, under pressure cookers. So if you're gonna be doing a pressure cooking type uh, bag, that's what this is for. And then the last one is, is, a, is sort of a unique bag. This is like you see uh, the type of bag that's used in those home units that are out there. And we have some customers that say, you know, this is a great little machine, but the chamber's a little bit small. And sometimes I do a rack of ribs and I can't fit them in the chamber and I don't wanna cut them in half. Well, with this machine, you could actually take your product. I'll, I'll just vacuum this again. Place it inside the bag, turn the seal bar around, and it now becomes very similar to a home unit that you see on TV. I can't believe you're sitting here watching water. So right now, because of the channels that are in this bag, I'm able to pull the air out of this bag completely. So you see how it's starting to draw down? Little by little. Just like you see uh, on the, the smaller machines, the inexpensive machines. So I can literally do a vacuum exterior like so by using a special bag. If you're looking at doing more items like say sous vide or liquids, you can take your volume plates out like so. Place your, uh, your metal tray inside. This new metal tray has an adjustment like so for, for, for the bag height. Place it inside. This will eliminate any liquids falling into the chamber of the machine. So say I want to do a full liquid item like so. Here we have just water. We set the tray length, place it over the bar. And as you can see, with a chamber machine, you can actually do liquids where you can't do it with a non-chamber vacuum machine. At some point, that water will start to boil, mainly because of the atmospheric pressure being applied to the liquid item. But we have a program set for 99%, so that means we're going to seal it right before the boiling point occurs. Seals it. Now my liquid item, I have a tear-off here. That's my waste. My liquid item is done. I place that into a sous vide thermal circulator. Can cook it for any period of time, up to about 400, uh, up to boiling 212 degrees, and uh, up to about six hours inside the th uh, thermal circulator. With the new LCD display, and it's all menu driven, it's about five minutes worth of training and they're ready to go. But what's also unique about this LCD display is uh, unlike the old LED displays where you couldn't control the software, we can now uh, uh, program the machine to do special things. As an example, we have a particular chef in New York that actually does a pan of green beans with olive oil, uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. And we programmed the, the software, we made what we call an infusion cycle. So he can set how much pressure and how much time he wants those green beans to sit under pressure. And so he programs it for, say, uh, 11 millibars at about six minutes. 
Then he literally takes the pan out, drops it into the uh, steam table, and it's all infused. So we, this also gives you an infusion cycle. And one more unique thing, it gives you a hot foods program. Uh, what happens if you're trying to do hot foods, you can't vacuum package hot foods very easily because the steam throws off the sensors of most machines that are out there uh, for, for this precise vacuum. So with a hot foods program, we can actually test the temperature, program it to the machine, and it will vacuum it at that temperature, and then it can go right into the refrigerated case. That's a labor savings instead of having to put it on ice and chill it. We are the first to introduce the thermal printer inter integration because with the new FDA laws, the way they change, uh, the local inspectors do want the name of the product, the ingredients, and a date that it was done on every package that's inside a refrigerated case. The number one reason people buy vacuum machines would be storage because your food costs are, is, is a huge savings on your waste every day. Storage is number one. Two would be uh, uh, for, for cooking, for, for sous vide style cooking. And three would be really for in, in, uh, uh, infusion for enhancement of flavor and texture. And also the other thing is like marinades. Instead of just wiping the marinade on the outside of the product, under pressure you're pushing that marinade more inside to the product. So uh, more and more uses for vacuum machine today than ever before. Yeah. And that is our MVS uh, 31 XP.